Today, we're going over Signal Mountain, Tennessee. If you're looking to move to Chattanooga and you're just trying to narrow down the areas that you want to look for a home, today we're going over Signal Mountain, Tennessee, uh, different places to live, things to do, amenities, and views like this. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Evan here, and on this channel, we go over all things Chattanooga, what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, and work. And I am a licensed realtor, so if you guys need help with any of your real estate needs, if you're looking to move to Chattanooga, feel free to contact me in any of the ways down below. I am a licensed realtor, and as, I'm, as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So contact me in any of the ways down below, and I'll be happy to help. Let's get on with the video. Now, where exactly is Signal Mountain in relation to Chattanooga? So Chattanooga is right here and just north of it is Signal Mountain. If you do live in Signal Mountain and you buy a home here, you're probably going to be 15 to as long as 30 minutes away from downtown, depending on where you live in Signal Mountain. Signal Mountain is a relatively small town with a population of around 8,000 people. However, with the winding roads and having to travel through different neighborhoods and stuff, it can sometimes uh, have long commute times to downtown. If you're deeper in si Signal Mountain, then you're gonna you know, have a longer commute time to downtown. But if you're right at the beginning, then it won't be as bad. Signal Mountain is on Walden's Ridge and it's actually at the southern end of the Cumberland Plateau. So Chattanooga is actually seated in a valley between two mountain ranges. I go over this in every single video, but it's, uh, it's seated in a valley between the Cumberland Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains. And Signal Mountain is right at the start of the Cumberland Mountains. Uh, the mountains afford us a lot of beautiful views, a lot of things to do as far as the outdoors go, a lot of hiking, a lot of uh, rivers and lakes and, uh, and streams. Now, I will say, if you are coming from downtown or if you're coming from the east, there's two roads to get up to Signal Mountain. The roads are extremely windy and narrow and it can sometimes be kind of crazy to get up. So if you're not used to windy roads, um, it's something to get used to when you come here. As far as cost of living goes, if you guys are trying to find a home here in Chattanooga, the median home price is around $782,000. Now, relative to the median home price in all of Chattanooga, Chattanooga's median home price is $320,000. So in Signal Mountain, it's more than double uh, the median home price in Chattanooga. The homes are very nice. We are in a mountain community. We are seated on a ridge, and a lot of these homes do have beautiful views. Uh, they, there are some nice walkable neighborhoods, sidewalks everywhere, and a lot of good points of interest. Um, there are a lot of things in Signal Mountain that when people come to Chattanooga, uh, they want to come to Signal Mountain to visit some of the hikes and go on some of the hikes like Edward Point to the place where I'm at right now, which is Signal Point. There's just a lot of outdoor things to do here. Now, with being a mountain community and having you know a more expensive price range, you are in a very, very charming mountain town. So that price range is high relative to uh, other places here in Chattanooga. Uh, but something to think about, like, if we're looking at the average home price in somewhere like Miami, right, where it's around the same thing, it doesn't look anything like Miami. This place is a charming mountain town, and the stores and the amenities around here kind of reflect that. Now, who is Signal Mountain for? If you want really close access to the outdoors, really beautiful views, uh, some good views of downtown Chattanooga, some good views of the river. If you want to go on a lot of on a lot of hikes, you uh, you like taking a dip in little streams and rivers and stuff. Hey. Signal Mountain can provide you that for sure. Just know when you decide to move to a place like si Signal Mountain, where it is a small mountain town on top of a mountain with beautiful views, you're gonna have that higher cost of living, that higher uh, median home price. So you are going to be spending a little bit more on your home. As far as amenities go, you have pretty much everything that you need here. Um, you have banks, you have restaurants, uh, you have a grocery store. The main grocery store is called Pruitt's. Uh, it's a nice little charming grocery store here in Signal Mountain. And we also have a place called the Alexian Village, which is a really nice retirement community. Um, and it's really close to Signal Point, where the place I'm at right now. We also do have options for athletic clubs. If you like playing tennis, if you like uh, swimming in pools, if you like that type of thing, we have those options. And we also have some options for golfing. We do have golf courses here. I get a lot of questions from my clients about healthcare facilities and different options and, and needing to be close to healthcare facilities. 
Signal Mountain is not the best place for that. We do have some outpatient clinics here. We have urgent care. Uh, we have some basic things, but if you're wanting to, if you're needing to go to ER or you're needing a big hospital, you're gonna have to drive down the mountain. It won't be, it'll be probably a 15 minute drive maximum to Erlanger or CHI Memorial. Uh, but just know that you'll be driving down a mountain in order to get to those hospitals. As far as schools go for your kids, if you do have a family or wanting to start a family, uh, we do have a few options for public schools, private schools, and even homeschool organizations. I have the list on my phone here. Uh, we have Thrasher Elementary School, Nolan Elementary School, Signal Mountain Middle and High School, uh, Signal Mountain Christian School, and Signal Mountain Homeschool. Now, as mentioned before, as far as things to do in Signal Mountain, you're, it's going to be all revolving around the outdoors. It's going to be revolving around hikes and rivers and uh, waterfalls that type of thing. If you love the outdoors, Signal Mountain is going to be the place for you. Some of the points of interest in Signal Mountain include Signal Point, Edwards Point, Rainbow Lake, Shackelford Ridge County Park, and Mushroom Rock and Suck Creek. All beautiful areas. And that is Signal Mountain, guys. If you guys are looking to move to Signal Mountain or anywhere in the Chattanooga area, again, guys, I am a licensed realtor. So as much as I love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next one. Peace.